Okay, so the big O ring is on there, no problem. Got it on right there. It rolled right on. It was the easiest one of all. We have a new middle ring on there, fine. We have the end ring on, fine. Oil fitter is on correctly. Check it. Snugness and all that looks fine. Spin, it spins. Okay, let's try and put this thing back in the uh, Mercedes GLK 250. Walk it over here. Here's where it goes. Set that over there. Let's get a look at what this looks like here inside to get a look at what's in there. So this thing, of course, is a huge pit. And what's nice is there's no oil in there at all. I mean, that's ingenious that the Germans made this thing so the oil doesn't collect in there, doesn't make a mess. Drains right off the oil filter, so. There's the threads on it. So it's pretty simple to put this thing right back in. That's what we'll do. So get the wrench, the filter. You want to put it in carefully because those oil seals, those O-rings got a seat in there. So we're not going to jam this thing in and be reckless, okay? This is called finesse. So I can see that this thing is seated. This is my first time doing this. So you and I are going at, this, at, our, at our, this is not scripted. I've never done this. We're just doing it. Okay, so here I can see that I'm not lined up. So I want to get the threads lined up down here. Like that. Okay, now it's lined up. Look at that. So change direction of our wrench. Crank this guy in here. Carefully. And if it gets too tight, stop. It's going to probably get tighter when that O-ring hits the surface. The O-ring... Yeah, you can see now the O-ring right there is contacting the aluminum surface of the retainer and that's where the danger starts so you don't want to really crank that in. I probably should have put some oil in this thing or some assembly lube. So I'm going to carefully tighten this guy up. Okay, it looks like the uh, o-ring is cleared the container and it's going in pretty good. this up. I'm still going in a pretty... there. Now it's tight. I think this thing was 23 newton meters. No, that was a well plug. I'm not sure how many newton meters this thing is. I'm just going to give it a good snug tight. Because I recall how it was pretty tight. So, here we go. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Take off this uh, cap and the Mercedes is done, the uh, oil is sucked out, and we have this guy in here. Of course, this is not going to come out easily. Um, anyway, we can assume that I have found a way to move this thing. Let's see. Got it rocking around. Well, I might need to get some vice grips on it to get off. And... These are some of the things you find when you're doing something for the first time. There's always a, a few little gotchas, so. One of the best things American inventing were vice grips. Put these on here. Pick this thing off. Just like that. So, that concludes our uh, delivery of oil. Or, I'm sorry, the oil filter into the GLK 250. Put this thing down. And we'll now put the stick with the oil dipstick back into the uh, hole. You can see our removal tube is still in there. This is going to probably leak oil, so this removal tube, I would like to keep it way up here, you know what I mean? So. I'm going to loop it up here in the car for a minute so it doesn't slop oil all over the place and maybe the oil will just drain maybe like this the oil will drain down the tube gently into the uh, container and what we'll do is we'll pump it up a bit to uh, suck the oil down so how's that we'll just give this guy a few pumps yeah I can hear it here can you hear it sucking listen to this Shh. 
makes a it makes a noise. Anyway, I think the oil is pretty much. Yeah, well, I can see it coming down the tube, so it'll it'll gravity feed in there over a course of an hour or two. It'll all come down, so I'll just leave it there all night. So now I want to put the dipstick back in the Mercedes here. I'm not going to put it in all the way. I'm just going to put it in. So the trick is you want to have air. You want to let air escape from here. You don't want to seal this because you're going to have air coming out. Air is going to be coming out because you're going to be putting oil in. So here's when the oil goes into the Mercedes diesel. We're going to put this oil in here, right here. And get in the funnel for that. The oil that I bought for this thing, it's pretty good oil. It's made in Germany. This, uh, this is probably the oil you should use. And this meets all the Mercedes specifications. And it's most likely going to be good for a drain interval of 10,000 miles. So let's take a look at what this says on here. It's European because there's different languages on it. It's made in Germany. Deutschland. Berkey, GmbH. So I want to see what the uh, specs are on it here. BMW, long way Ford. Okay, there it is. This is what you want to see right here. Look at that. MB approval, 229.51 for the diesel. You have to have that in your oil. MB 229.51. This is oil you want. So I picked the stuff off of Amazon. And uh, made in Deutschland. This is what you want for your Mercedes rig. Okay. Well, I'm going to put the oil in. Hopefully, I won't spill it. Uh, there's no funnel. I'll probably have to go borrow a measuring cup and. As you can see, that's going to spill all over, so I have no idea where my funnel went. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope this helped you. I really do. I'm just a regular guy here trying to save a few bucks. Take care.